Well, that inmate, Daniel Easley, was working as a trustee on a work detail. Several counties use these prisoners to perform a variety of services. The system can be beneficial to both the county and those inmates. And WCBI's Jory Talley has more on what it takes to get into one of those programs. Jory? Andre and Joey, every sheriff's department has trustees, but not every inmate gets to be one. Trustees spend their nights in a jail cell and their days at work. The county, uh, the trustees there, most of them are sentenced from justice court, which would be going to be from either old fines or some of them are actually serving jail sentences. So we'll try to go in there and evaluate them. If they qualify, we'll put them out to working. Our state inmates, basically the same thing, but they are under MDOC rules and policies, so we make sure that's enforced. The Clay County Sheriff's Department can have up to 65 trustees, but right now have around 30. They're the ones you see out in the community that's either working for the city, doing mowing, weed eating, they own our garbage truck. So they provide a good benefit to the city and the county. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we do, whether the county or state, uh, we try to run our own rehabilitation program. We try to give them uh, worth ethics. Chickasaw County Sheriff James Myers says trustees are a win-win situation because they're willing to work and pay their debt to society, and that saves money for taxpayers. We have a lot of folks in, that come through our system that are very educated and uh, some kind of talented, whether it be uh, the carpenters, plumbers, and to me it's just foolish not to give them that opportunity to work for the public uh, in our situation like here. I mean, they save, uh, they save us thousands of dollars a year because they're very skilled. Although trustees spend less time in their cells than regular inmates, they're still under constant supervision. Here it's not like you get three or four chances and three or four strikes. I mean, if, uh, if I get you here on a, tr a jail trustee status or jail support, I mean, it's a, it's a one-strike rule. Uh, if you violate the rules and get caught, uh, then, you know, we ship you back to the penitentiary. Sheriff Meyer says following the rules can help trustees out a lot and that he doesn't mind sending letters out to help with their parole dates. Andrea?